Today I'll be showing you some uh, funny tips you can use for the maker pen that nobody really knows about when they first start. Um, some of these I didn't even fucking know. Some of that to tell me because I'm not that fucking observant. But like, this is your maker pen, by the way. To get your maker pen up from your back, you can go into your backpack from your home menu. Click favorite. See, it works with everything too. Like, look, I can drop my maker pen, right? I favorited the camera. Now you got the camera. On favorite, you get nothing. Favorite your clipboard, comes out of your back. So it worked with the maker pen too, and it's very easy to do. Not worth if you hold down the uh, emotions button on your while you're holding your maker pen, it becomes this menu. Has everything from the tool menu on your wrist, so you can change random stuff. Depending on, like, you know, what thing you're doing. I don't want fucking. Okay. Basically, you can change at, to anything. Transformation is just all the other ones combined to the one. Like, you got this, you got rotation, and you got sizing. Um, very useful tip. Uh, if you go to, uh, if you, uh, create something and you have form shapes. So, Here's the difference from uniforming shapes and normal things. So what uniforming means in like math terms is like, like basically it goes either straight or everything is the same. I fucking, I was just Why do they have all the support to be in the middle? What's that for that? Oh my god. Sorry guys, I'm gonna go back And teach you guys a funny thing about uniformation. Well, I'm logging back in. Uh, so you, what uniformation means is like, basically what, like, say, say you got this right, it's not uniformed, so it goes all around and stuff, right? And what uniformation does, okay, it makes it, it makes tubes go into a straight line, no matter what you do with them. So like, see, they make straight line and without uniform shapes. It's not as straight, you see? It it's free. So like But you could I might as well show this too. Um if you go to your shapes, right? Cubes. If you have uniform shapes on, it sizes the entire thing. And stuff but if you have it off on these shapes it goes to where you're going so it's like displacement too I guess I don't know um yeah there's that um all the other shapes like a cube are the exact same basically so like it wouldn't be much useful showing this because tubes are like their own thing and everything else is, their, is the same thing speaking of tubes um if you get a tube right, most of you guys already know a man manipulation tool. Some some people don't know. Fuck off. Like manipulate and move some of the things near. But, but what you might not know is you can get the edit tool at this, and you can just edit each thing individually and even delete some. So like I could delete all the points on this right now. It turns to a straight line. I could even resize one point to what I want it to be. And rotate it, etc. You can even select both things to insert one, or you can smooth it out. If you click all, it all goes into one thing. And if you, uh, smooth position, it goes the same thing. If you smooth rotation, I'm assuming it just will usually rotate it to, like, the same thing. Uh, size, it's, it evens them out. And what insert point does is it inserts the points that you selected like in between them. So like if you select all these, it inserts them in between. If you select both of these, it adds the one in between the things you selected. And it works like that. Yeah. And uh... Now let's get into some technical stuff. 
So basically, uh, Circuit V2. You you might have tempered with this once while playing Rec Room, and you saw this icon, but you never really thought of anything, right? You always look like let's connect stuff to each other, you know? Like this select random stuff, right? Also, if all for know about CV2, if you hold an executable thing, it you can play it by holding it for a second or a half second. If it turns into this, that means you can play it and it'll work. And it only works for executables if you just click on a pool. It switches to true or false if you if you uh like see if you do this automatically um, configures it for you and if there's a uh, pool variable if you click this if you click this it sets it to true or false instead of making it config yeah oh yeah I'll say I did the silly um but yeah. But you might have not known, edit tool, you can edit this, and it's actually its own circuit board. So you can tamper with this one however the fuck you like. I see the events and stuff. If I'll let you know, you can edit the events with that, and it does that. You know, just, yeah. But yeah. That's the useful tips too. Um. Let me try to find another useful tip, I guess. Um. Oh yeah, you can recolor most things that you might not know of. Basically, you can recolor anything, basically. Like hell. You can probably recolor this fucking bell if I wanted to. And one that you might not know of is with campfires. Campfires, if you color them, it turns the flame into the color. Like, see, it turns it red if I change it to green. For blue, it will turn it into blue, etc., etc. Pretty neat, right? Black changes into that color. And yeah, oh no, I turned up. I turned up black. See, look, you can even do with faces. See, that's, in, that's, that's a red AC. This is a red car. And hell, look, there, even the red fucking bell, you can color most fucking anything. Let me prove that, look. <laughs> uh, you can recolor base, basically anything if you wanted to. It doesn't work on these though. Sometimes you can't recolor vengeance. But like, Make Prime can do so much things, and you probably don't even know it. Also, some morph stuff. Control every setting of every single thing by clicking that, but it's kind of like, you know, not good. If you want to view circuits without your maker pen, you just click show components, and you can see it without your maker pen. Show pivot, which is the center of the fucking thing, and I might as well show this too. If you want to recenter it, you just gotta select the point of the thing, click recenter pivot. And which that, what that does is if you want to click rotate or something, you can rotate it around the pivot. Basically, it checks the pivot. It wants to rotate around that. You see this? See how it's not in the center of it? Yeah. And also, you always want this on, or else it's not going to be even with the world. See? Look how uneven that is. And when I put world space on, it centers right back up. Very useful. And, uh, more setting stuff. Um, this is only on experimental ones, but if you click show anchors, and then click something, you might notice this. This, are these are anchors. Basically what this does is, oh, it's a lot better version of scaling and stuff. Like, say I wanted to rescale it with this. I have a lot more points to work with, right? I don't use this personally, but some people might do, and it's probably extremely useful if you use it correctly. <laughs> Bro has a tiny head. And the final thing you might need is a... Uh, don't rotate while moving. 
if you want this, and if you want to grab something with offhand grabbing, without it rotating in your hand, turn this the fuck off. Because if you don't have it on, it will do this. So if you don't want it rotating, that's your key to do it. See? Also, by the Moshi plush. Hell, play testing room if you want to. It's very safe. Definitely safe. Just see, you can click these off and on if you want to. Um, I always have them on personally. Um, what else? What else? The search bar. It's a bit much. Yeah, don't ignore what inventions I have. Haste. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's your clipboard. So like, say I wanted to go to the select tool, and you see this thing called copy. You copy this. You go back to your clipboard. It's it's there. You can place it and stuff. Some people might not know that too because it's such a small icon. Very useful. Even though I just realized that now, you're learning stuff as I learn stuff. <laughs> Logs is for circuits. As you could see, this this room is not perfect at all. You need to clear the logs. Uh, by the way, ink is your amount of stuff you can place in the map. CPU and network and stuff and chips are mostly for CPU stuff, so you should be good on that as long as you don't spam place stuff. Basically, if CPU or network overheats, some stuff may not work, and you have to wait for it to cool down. So the chips tool is showing how many uh things, are, how many chips are in the room. By the way, if you do this, you can uh, if you hold this, you can uh. Control where it goes. Yeah. You can even pin it. So it stays up. Not with you. If you find that useful. Even reset it. And you can rescale it like this. It's very customizable. And it's pretty cool in this way. I do like the old menu though. Because it was had a charm to it. But like. Not more confusing to work with. Um, squalishes. These are just your go-to thing for recoloring. Um, you can even use custom if you are an artist and stuff and you know what color, how the colors work and stuff. Everyone knows how colors work usually. And materials. These are your materials. Also, but so you're aware. If you go to this room and go to your sub room. There is a thing that you can toggle for new materials. Old style materials are different from the Gable chips is just like so if you go back to the uh, recoloring stuff, you may notice that some of these look slightly different than they did before. You can go check that if you want. Like, yeah. I don't know if that's a beta only feature, but it might be. I just don't know. Also, before I go, did you know Yellow Cube?